So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Wearscape 3D and how you can use it to automate the creation of your data warehouse. Now, Wearscape is comprised of two different tools. We've got Wearscape Red, which creates the physical objects. It creates your table, writes your code, creates your pipelines for you, creates the documentation of your data lineage and all of that. Our other tool is Wearscape 3D which allows you to take a model-driven approach to building your data warehouse. You can also use it to both discover and profile your data sources. So we're going to start with connections. So you create a connection to your source. This could be a flat file on-premise or in the cloud somewhere in blob storage or S3 buckets. You could also discover, create connections. So we're going to start with connections. So you can create a connection to a traditional DBMS platform or an API or blob storage, flat files, really anything. Then you can take your connection and we can discover that connection. And when you do this, we're going to create a source model. So if we create this model, we can sort it based on schemas. We can set filter options. If we want to not include views and system tables, you can include and exclude things such as I want to exclude all system tables. And then we're going to discover that source system. We can do a full discovery, which includes referential integrity constraints. And then we also have profiling that we can do a full profile, including all the metrics built in. And once this is done, we end up with an entity relationship diagram that shows what our source is. So if you have referential integrity constraints, it will be pulled across. If you need to create them yourself, you can inside the tool, or we even have a tool to derive them using the rules-based engine inside 3D. Now we can also come down and look at our profiling results real quickly. We can look at them in a graph and we can see average character counts, average values, max character counts, null percentages, population percentages, lots of metrics built in to the tool. Now that you have a source model created, we can take this and use this as a basis to create a star schema, an enterprise data warehouse, or a, a data vault. In this case, we're going to create a star schema. I'm going to create a new model. Sticking with the same naming standards. And I can pick what I want to go into that star schema, or I can just leave it where it is and we can drag in things. We can create tables and columns from scratch, or I could use my source system as a basis for this. I can bring in customers and say this is a type 2 dimension. Maybe I want to track address fields in my customer dimension. Then I can grab in orders and say that's a fact table something like that and now I have a nice little simple star schema with a fact table and a dimension. I can also come into my fact table and add more details. So we can come in and grab products and we can grab price and quantity. Now the fact table has mapped the sources and so we have that ability to map multiple sources into one table built inside the tool. Now we can also add some additional dimensions, say product. We're going to make that a type 1 dimension and employees as a type 1 dimension. And then let me redraw this so that we have, have a nice drawing here. So now we have multiple dimensions in one fact table. If I want, I can even take the date and put it up into my order date and add an additional uh, dimension into my fact table. Now I can generate the artificial keys for it and 
now I've got my artificial keys inside my fact table. Now the next step is to use automation to go ahead and create the load and stage tables necessary to build this star schema. So let's take that top-down approach and let's fill in the details. We're going to stick with the same naming standard. At any time you can branch and merge these as well. So we're going to take now and do the most important thing inside Wearscape 3D and that's apply model conversion rules. There is one set up specifically for load and stage tables. And these are just small steps that you would normally do. We're just doing it very quickly using the tool. And now our load and stage models not only includes our fact table and our dimensions, but it also includes a stage table to join those together. It includes a load table for each one of our data sources and any other stage tables that are necessary to build it out. Now you will notice this is a logical model, TGT. It took any data types from your source system. We can then create DDL for a specific DBMS platform or we can prepare it for RED and then export it to there. So then this gets pushed across to Wearscape RED which physically creates the table and creates the code and the pipelines for us. Now if this has intrigued you, please go to wearscape.com for more information.